Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today we will be drawing a frog. I will show you how to draw an easy frog but looks realistic. So let's get started. And if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon to get a video every single day. And along the way while I draw, I will give you some fun facts about frogs. Today I'm going to be using the website earthrangers.com to give you some fun facts. But if you want to connect with me, send me a request, let me know in the comments below and I will draw that for you for next time. And if you want to connect with me through other social media, you have all the information in the description box below, my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram information. So connect with me through those media as well. So you can see now, um, I started off with the face area and I'm going to draw the body. I'll show you how to draw it kind of like... Uh, a square um, and then you can build it up so that it looks like a frog um, you can draw frogs in so many different ways there are different kinds of frogs as well if you want me to draw other types of frogs let me know in the comments below and you can draw them in different directions uh, as well and they all look very different so let me know in the comments below and to give you some fun facts um, like I said, there are so many different kinds of frogs. Uh, so there are about 4,700 species of frogs. So if you want me to draw other types of frogs, let me know. I did draw a frog before. I will put that at the end of this video as well for you to check. And apparently every year that a frog goes into hibernation, a new layer of bones form. So you can count these rings in order to find a frog's age. Um, the rings around, um, if you take an x-ray of a frog, uh, you can see different layers. So um, uh, like rings around uh, each structure that they built. So you can guess the age from that. So many frogs can jump 20 times their own height. Pretty long high jump. And um, as you have probably known, uh, they come in so many different colors as well. So the last time when I drew the frog, I kind of colored it sort of blue. Uh, this one is going to be a green one. And I'll add a little touches of yellow as well. So you can see now it's starting to take shape already. And I'll show you how... Um, the whole thing looks like. So today I used a um, color pencil to draw this, not a Sharpie. Uh, you can do the same or you can use a pencil and an eraser or a Sharpie as well if you want to make a nice sticker or um, you want the black lines to look uh, prominent and like pops out, then you can use a Sharpie as well. So you can see if you want you can add like uh, patches for the frog because they have those little bumps kind of circular type of bumps all around them sometimes so if you want you can add those I will add some around the tummy area later on and I'll show you how it uh, looks as well so um, you can see now it's kind of uh, looking like a frog but you can always make it look better by adding some details um, like I'm doing here but the general shape is there. So another fun fact is the study of amphibians and reptiles is called herpetology and those who study them are called herpetologists. The name comes from the Greek word herpeton which means something that crows. And one of the ways you can tell a male frog from a female is by looking at their ears. A frog's ear is called 
tympanum tympanum or tympanum and it is located just behind the eye if the uh, tympanum is larger than the frog's eye it is a male if it is smaller it is a female hmm, it's interesting and they can molt this is a process where they shed their skin so most frogs molt once a week but some will do it every day once the old skin has been pulled off the frog usually eats it it's disgusting they eat their own uh, skin and um, Croaking is used by male frogs as a way to attract females. Uh, apparently, each frog species has a distinct croak. Um, and they have vocal sacs which fill with air and can amplify the sound up to a mile away. You've probably seen, uh, maybe even in cartoons, that frogs have that uh, sack-like thing that blows out um, when they uh, make that sound and they have if you didn't know I didn't know this before frogs do have teeth in the upper jaw which they use to keep their prey in one place until they can swallow it so it's like to um, hang the prey in there uh, kind of like a barrier Frogs swallow using their eyes. Its eyes retract into its head and help push the food down its throat. It's very, very interesting and unusual. And they don't drink water with their mouths. They drink by absorbing water through the skin. So I learned a lot about frogs today. I hope you did too. So this is the full color drawing of the frog. I didn't show you a lot of coloring just because it's just green and yellow that I used. I didn't do any tricks or any shading or anything. Um, so if you're liking this, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment for me. And I have products with this on on my Redbubble shop link. So if you are interested in buying products like stickers, caps, t-shirts, even bedding material, check out the Redbubble shop link in the description box below. And now I've put some next videos for you to check out, um, including the frog video that I mentioned before. And don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel. You know, I bring a video every single day. So I hope you come back tomorrow as well to see what I do for you tomorrow. So um, I hope you have a great day today. Bye.